I want to talk about something today. Because Andrew Tate is a guy that is loved by millions. Millions of men across the world. They all swear by Andrew Tate. They say that he saved their life. Uh, they wouldn't be where they are today if it wasn't for Andrew Tate. They were suicidal and then uh, you know, pulled themselves back from the brink. Because of Andrew Tate. Uh, a lot of people believe he plays 3D chess. You know, that's what they always say about really smart people who get in trouble, right? Like Kanye West, Andrew Tate, they say they're playing 3D chess. And Andrew Tate, apparently, he has predicted this. He predicted that he would uh, go to jail. You saw that clip, right, where he, he said, the first thing the Matrix does is they ban you, then they arrest you on some trumped up charges, and then they kill you. Well, two out of three of these things have happened. And when I look at this video of Andrew and his brother getting arrested, I gotta tell you, especially Tristan, Tristan looks a little nervous here. Andrew looks a bit nervous too. Uh, and they've been arrested by police officers that are not even showing their faces, which I also find very weird. Like, why are they hiding their faces? Is this how it's done in Romania or Bulgaria, wherever he is? Is this how it's done? If it's done like that, that's very suspicious. But this is why it's very hard for people to stick their neck out for the citizenry of the world, right? When Colin Kaepernick took a knee, everybody was praising him, right? But then the guy lost all his football contracts. He was never hired again, lost millions of dollars, and all those people who were praising him on Twitter, on YouTube, nobody gave him any money. Nobody sent him a check to thank him for what he did. Zilch, nothing happened. Nada. The guy just dis disappeared into oblivion. Right? Now you got Andrew Tate. Apparently he's been saying things that, uh, actually he's been saying things that I agree with, like, uh, I am completely against all these vaccine mandates. I thought they were completely ridiculous. Um, so he's been saying a lot of things that a lot of people agree with. A lot of people swear by Andrew Tate. They say he's the man. But now that he's been arrested, how many of you Tate boys out there are doing anything to make sure he's okay in jail? He was whisked away by masked men in the middle of the night. How many of you how many of you out there have checked up on him to make sure he's okay? What if the guy is in real trouble? Yeah, what if he's being tortured? What if he gets killed on some trumped up charges in Romania, right? He'll just disappear, it'll just be another storyline, gone, done. And you guys will move on to your next idol, right? If he really is your idol, what are you guys doing about it? Are you writing letters to the Romanian government? Are you putting pressure on the American government or the British government, right? To find out what happened to Andrew Tate? Or do you believe that your top G really is uh, a sex trafficker? In which case, it would make sense that you wouldn't do anything. But surely you don't believe that because you've been supporting him. You can't just support people and then that's it. Right? Look at what happened to Kyrie Irving. Kyrie Irving in the NBA before the beginning of the 2021 season, the players union decided and agreed that you were not going to impose a vaccine mandate on the players. The players union, right? That is the union for the NBA players. They agreed to it. Now when the NBA season started, some states, like New York, like I believe San Francisco, like a California, well, well, not states, some cities like New York City and, and San Francisco, they said that buildings, employees of certain buildings or anybody that's entering a building, they had to be vaccinated. And that implied to everybody that lived in the city. So Kyrie Irving, because he lived in New York, he had to get vaccinated in order to play in New York City. He could play outside of New York City, and people from other states could come inside New York City and play, but Kyrie Irving couldn't play. 
Think about how asinine that statement is. Now, Kyrie Irving is already a millionaire, but he took a stand, number one, for his health, but also he said in the news, for all the other people out there that are getting, that are losing their jobs because of these vaccine mandates. Now, what did anybody else do for Kyrie Irving during the time he was taking the stand? Nothing. Zilch. Nada. The Players Union didn't do anything for him. Nobody, none of the, the top NBA players, none of them did anything for him. They actually made him out to be the bad guy. Like he was the one that was breaking the rules. The players union had already decided before the season started, the vaccines were not required. But now he's losing all this money and nobody stood up for the guy. Nobody. All the so-called uh, 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 minority uh, journalists that were, in the, that were in TNT and ESPN, they were actually attacking him. They, yeah, they were attacking him. They said that he should get fired. Right? You don't back up these people. When people put their necks out for a cause, their necks are just going to get chopped off because nobody cares. It's all talk. Nobody cares. Look at what happened to Kyrie again. He posted a link. Just a link to something he liked. And then all of a sudden he gets banned. He has to pay 500000 to the ADL. You know, he has to go on a, an apology tour. Now, if that could happen to a person who works in a league that is 90% black, that the wealthiest, most powerful people in the league are black, then what chance do you and I have? Nobody stood up for the guy. And I'm not even going to just blame the athletes, the LeBron Jameses and the rest of those guys and the Shaquille O'Neal's. What about the, the fans that watch? We knew there was an injustice that happened to Kyrie Irving. What did we do? Did anybody throw away their Adidas and their Nikes and stop buying Adidas and Nikes after it happened to Kyrie? Did people convince their family and friends to stop buying Adidas and Nikes after uh, Kyrie's contracts were, were banned? No. Did people stop watching the NBA? No. Did people stop going to NBA games? No. If you go to an NBA game in New York or, or, or DC anywhere, like, I'm not even joking, like close to 50% of the attendees of NBA games are black people. Keep in mind, black people make only 14% of the population. So most of the revenue going to the NBA is coming from black people. Black people wield that kind of power, but nobody stood up for Kyrie Irving in something that everybody agreed was complete BS. Just think about what power you could wield if you stopped going to games for, you know, six months. Stop watching ESPN, cancel your ESPN subscription. Stop watching uh, any of the YouTube, uh, you know, ESPN or, 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 you know, NBA on TNT. Don't support Shaq or Charles Barkley in anything they do. Unsubscribe from all their channels. Just think about what would happen, the power we could wield if that kind of thing happened. Not to mention if the NBA players, people like Kevin Durant and the rest of the, the Nets, if they just decided, hey, we're not going to play unless you let Kyrie play. If they just did that, this would have been a non-issue. But nobody did that. Because nobody cares. So that's why, you know, I feel for Andrew. He, he believes he's loved and he truly is loved. But he's not loved enough. Because nobody cares, Andrew. Now you're in your real time of need. And those millions and millions and millions of fans that you have out there are doing nothing for you. They're not sending you any money. They're not checking up to see where you are. The most they're going to do is write some comments under a Greta Thunberg video. And that's the world we live in today.